Okay. So what is a rectangle? Well, ladies and gentlemen, a rectangle is a is a parallelogram that has four right angles. Okay? So if it's a parallelogram, but all the new only new thing is rather the angles um, be in any size, now the angles have to be right angles. That means they have to have the measurement of 90 degrees. So if you're thinking about what are the properties then of rectangles, does it make sense that since it's a parallelogram but with right angles, it's going to hold all of the same properties as parallelograms? Yes? Yes? Yeah. So guess what? Let's write down them again so we can remember them. So now you can say opposite. So now you can say opposite sides of a rectangle are both parallel and they are congruent. That's the same thing as the parallelogram. You can say opposite angles are congruent, which we already know that, right? Which means they're, um, they're congruent, but what do, what are those angles what are those angles equal to, right? If it's four right angles, that means each angle is 90 degrees. So obviously, the opposite angles have to be equal in measure. Actually, all the angles are equal in measure, right? And you could say consecutive angles are supplementary. And we know that, right? Because, guys, you have 90 degrees plus 90 degrees. That equals 180 degrees, right? So really, you can say that all, you know, any two angles are right next to each other, which we call consecutive. Obviously, those are going to be supplementary, right? They're going to add up to 180. And remember, all of the angles, even the opposite angles are congruent. They're, all, they're both equal to 90 degrees. All the angles are equal to 90 degrees. What else am I missing? Um, Another one is, question four, that the diagonals bisect each other. Right? Now, this is a very important one for your homework, because you guys know these are going to come in. If they bisect each other, that means they cut them in half, right? So that means one side of a diagonal is equal to the other side, right? Sam, right? One side is equal to the other, bisect it, cuts it in half. All right? Right. Very good. Now, let's go back to a parallelogram. If I said this was a parallelogram, are those two diagonals equal in measurement? Would you guys say, Taylor? Yeah. Would you say that diagonal that goes left to right is the same one that goes, oh, like they both go left to right. But would you say the length of this diagonal is the same length as that diagonal? No, it's pretty obvious. You can see that the diagonals don't always have to be the same length. The diagonals do bisect each other for all parallelograms, right? They do bisect each other, but they don't have necessarily the same length. Well, for a rectangle, does it look like the diagonals are equal in measurement? Yes, and guess what? That's a property that is true for rectangles, but not always true for parallelograms that you have your diagonals are congruent. OK? And let's see, anything else? Consecutive angles, opposite angles. And there you go. All right, guys? So that's all you guys really need to know for that. Um,